So there's lots of different people raising rabbits. There's lots of different kinds of situations why people raise rabbits. You know, you just have to figure out why you want to raise rabbits. Do you, do you just want to raise cute animals or do you want to enjoy watching them grow from babies to full? I mean, there's lots of different reasons and it's okay. Um, I raise rabbits because for meat production. Um, I love the fact that I got organic meat uh, in produ being produced in my backyard and it's like a non-stop thing. I mean, uh, you got a, you know, a t on average a 10 pound rabbit, we do New Zealand's, and it, one rabbit can produce up to nearly 100 pounds a year in one cage. Um, you know, and what kind of rabbits do you want to raise? You know, you figure all this out well before, but I'll tell you what, you can do it. I know you can because it's so simple because rabbits don't take a lot of space. They, they're not loud. They're not going to bother you. Um, and they can thrive in lots of different situations. You can raise them outside, inside, um, in a barn, in a garage, in a shed. It's so primitive, I've been, but I've been cutting bags like this for years. Dude, we buy our feed in 50, 50 pound sacks. We keep our 50 pound sacks in the corner on a pallet in our shed. Now, we use a two gallon bucket and we use a, a measuring cup to fill up this bucket out of our five gallon buckets. And then this is what we walk out to the ravishery with. A half cup measuring cup. And this is for one helping, serving in the morning and one of these in the evening. Every so rabbit gets when, when we're dealing with freezing temperatures, I take out a bucket of hot water. And then I take out a bucket of lukewarm water because I don't want to fill hot water in the dishes because that'll freeze faster. Most people know that. So I'll, I'll fill it up actually with lukewarm water and that tends to last the longest. So, but that's in the winter time. In the summertime, I just keep the buckets by the spigot so, outside. When it's not freezing, I'll just keep the buckets right here behind the hose crank. And I usually keep this unattached to the rucks and I use a short hose. I'll link a quick release because when I'm not using this, what makes it handy is it's spring loaded and it just pops right in there, it's connected now. But when I fill it, want to fill up my bucket and I don't want to wait for all that hose water to purge out of the hose. Um, this makes it a lot easier, a lot faster just using a three foot hose. And that's our watering system. So when should you get rabbits? Anytime's a good time. You know, the winter time it's going to be tough to, to build your hutch out, outdoors, but if you have a garage or a shed, you can get started tomorrow. You can get started any time of the year. Now, if you're going to put your rabbits in the garage or in the shed, they will need some light. You're going to want to give them some light around 8 to 10 so hours a day. Just be aware, if your rabbit is indoors, it's going to create a lot of fertilizer. So, I mean, that's why our outdoor rabbits really work great, because we can take our fertilizer right to the compost pile. You may be wondering, how in the world does he process these rabbits? They are so darn cute. Well, they are, and they're quiet too. And, you know, I, I gotta say, they're, they're probably one of the best livestock you can raise for that reason. They don't take up a lot of room. I mean, anybody can do this. And um, the toughest part is getting over their cuteness. And, uh, and putting the priority of the high quality meat first you know I, I mean even even deer are incredibly beautiful but that's a hundred pounds of organic meat so every year we try to harvest a deer uh, at least a couple deer and we we process at least 100 150 pounds of rabbit meat a year and uh, one day soon we probably will get a couple pigs if I can convince the wife. So I do want to mention when it comes to rabbits, having a rabbitry, it is so easy for things to get out of hand. You know, I, you really got to keep your, your breeding in check and you know, do, are you really willing to process all these rabbits? Are you really willing to, because you don't want to hurt the surrounding rabbitries, you know, dropping your prices down. If you sell them for $10 this month, then a little bit farther down the line, someone's gonna come back and say, what do you mean you want $30? What do you mean you want 20 bucks? So just be careful. 
And again, you don't want your rabbitry to get so big. You start thinking, okay, I want to do this all the time. And what happens is you don't realize that means that there's more chores, more time, more feed, more cost. And so there's a balance. Um, everybody has their own balance that's right for them. So once you find that, um, you'll get you'll get into that rhythm. But so I just you know just be careful. That's all I'm, I'm trying to say is um, it's really easy, especially with rabbits, to get too big. Too all of a sudden you're not paying attention to your you're not you're not giving all the rabbits equal amounts of care. And uh, that that's all. That's all I wanted to mention. So just try to keep everything in check because with as fast as these rabbits reproduce, boy, it doesn't. Before you know it, you could have a hundred rabbits. And then what happens? Then what do you do? Look at this rabbit. This rabbit is so cool. This is a broken red, but his spots are a little faded. But then he's got almost like these California ears. This is a purebred New Zealand. And this thing's got blue eyes. Really cool. So once I feed and I water the rabbits, I just grab some hay. I give each cage a couple handfuls of hay, maybe one more handful depending on how many rabbits are in there. And they get that every morning and every evening. Now, where are you going to put all your bales of hay? I'll show you. This is my little shed I built out of some timbers, some side panel, two by fours, and a topper. Nothing to it. Now you don't necessarily need to have a dozen bales of hay sitting around like I do, but it's nice to have at least a couple, two or three bales of hay behind the garage or in the shed, even outside with a tarp over it. Two to three rabbits, a bale of hay is gonna last two to three rabbits at least a month, you know, depending on if you give those a little bit bigger handfuls, smaller handfuls, but that's, a pretty good ballpark. So we've talked food, water, hay. Some, a lot of, some pet stores are better than others, but most of the time they don't necessarily know what rabbit is best for your situation. So, so I suggest doing your own research and maybe Googling the breed of rabbit that you want and look for the breeders of that rabbit in your area. Um, you're, you're, probably going to get a much better rabbit that way and also you know do you want a purebred rabbit do you want a rabbit with a pedigree um, you know that these are decisions that you may have to pay a little bit more but you're probably going to get a better rabbit so you don't necessarily have to have this setup um, really all you need is a water a feeder and a cage um, make sure your rabbits in the shade and you know as long as you have an area to feed the or put your feed you're ready but we enjoy we have this setup because we breed all the all the way through the year and you know when the, when the climate changes in the hottest times of the year the coldest times of the year that helps us still continue our breeding system we don't have to shut down our rabbitry so um, real quick, I just want to touch on, we have a brand new Amazon store page. Um, we have taken a lot of time to find some of the best rabbit products, some things that can really, everything from um, tools that will help you make rabbit feet, to processing rabbits, to rabbit toys, to, to, to things to make your rabbit more comfortable, grooming, uh, tons of different rabbit stuff, uh, indoor litter boxes, outdoor stuff. Um, and we're always going to be adding to it, so please check that out. It's in all our videos. There's a, a link in the description, and it will take you to our website. And if you click on any of those links, it's, that will take you to Amazon, and then even more options will, will uh, be below that. There's lots of cool deer hunting stuff. Below that, there's beekeeping products. Lots of, for all you beekeepers out there, lots of, and I recommend, if you guys aren't into beekeeping yet, try it. It is so cool, it will change your life, just like these rabbits change your life for the better. So, I strongly recommend you guys contact, you know, a rabbitry in your area. If anybody lives within driving distance from Bath, Michigan, we can set you up. We run two bloodlines, and I'm sure we can find you a New Zealand purebred rabbit that you would love. Out into the woods again, 
to try to either fill my last buck tag or if I see a big doe, I'll be sure to, to use my, my doe tag. I got one doe tag, so um, if anybody has any questions, say you, you're on the fence about it. You're thinking, you know what, I don't know if it'll work or, you know, you got any, any questions whatsoever, please leave them below. I try to answer everybody. Maybe give me a day or two and I probably can get back to you. Okay, so I'm going deer hunting. You guys, please check out our Amazon page. Give it a look. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.